Now that our braid is done, this is how we're going to make the, um, the basket section for our sling. You're going to take one strand, okay, you have six of these strands, two together, and you're going to take one strand from each side, okay, so I'm going to take this one, this one, okay, and then a third one from over here, and we're going to separate them. Okay, now if you look, that leaves us with three on the one side and three on the other. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, cordage, okay, so I have my hemp cordage, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it, I found the center point of it, and I'm going to tie the one side. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make an overhand knot. Before I cinch it up, I'm going to get it right, right up here, pretty high, and there we go. Okay, now, I have these three strands over here, I have three strands over on the other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start doing a um, basic over under weave with my cordage. So I'm just going to go over okay, the, the, the first one, actually let's go under the first one. So the, the right hand strand we're going to go under on this case. Then you're going to go over the middle one and then under the bottom one. Okay, now I got one loop going through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over the top. Now the right one I'm going to go over, then under the center one, and then over. And I'm just going to weave it like this back and forth until I get my basket. Now what I want for my basket is I want my basket to be pretty much the width of my hand. So I'm going to try to get it about this wide, and I know that that's about four to five inches um, in size. This this uh, kind of size sling will work really well with a um, a golf ball size projectile. So again, go under, over, under. Okay, and then once you get it in, you can just push it up tight so that it it cinches off nice. Okay, so I'm going to continue all the way down this side and then I'll be back to you once I get it done. Again, when I do this part, when I'm making the basket, is I put, loop it on my toe again so I can make it taunt. And then I take my hand and I put the, if you see, you can see that I put the string between my fingers. And that pulls them apart a little bit so that it's really easy to pull them in this way. Okay, and then you can just put it on there. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep the, um, when you do these strands, if you, if you don't hold them tight and a little bit apart, what I found is it bunches up. It bunches up down here in the basket. It's not as wide as you want it. But if you hold it like this, I, I really get a really nice sized um, basket. So that's just a little bit of a tip on how to do this part a little bit more efficiently. All right guys, I finished the one side of my basket. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here to the other side. And this knot that I created, I'm gonna pull out, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So we have three strands on the opposite side along with this one, this uh, dogbane hemp cordage that I, I made. Okay, now I have it untied and I have these three pieces so I'm just going to start the opposite direction. I'm going to go over, then under, then over. And I'm going to continue to do that until I'm done with this half of the uh, twine and it's going to look just like this other side. Now it's really important that I make both of them about the same length. So I want them both to be about the same length. So I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done that. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I have both sides of the basket. Here's the tag end, okay, the tag end of the dogbane Indian hemp that I used for the basket. 
I made sure both of these are on the inside because we're gonna cinch them off later. 